friends we have came with yet another video on applied mechanics and in this video we will we will solve the problem associated with the moment of inertia calculation of the composite figure about central axis and probably this question or this type of problems are mainly asked in many universities when applied mechanics is in the syllabus and let us get started okay so we have the problem so this is the composite figure and we need to determine the moment of inertia so we need to determine this moment of inertia about the central axis okay so friends after seeing such a composite figure we must be clear that for finding the moment of inertia about the central axis first thing we need to determine the centroid okay so we need to determine centroid and only after finding centroid we can do calculations and apply formula of moment of inertia and also use parallel axis theorem for the determination of moment of inertia about centroidal xx and yy axis okay so friends we need to find centroid of the given problem so for the finding of centroid we need to divide the individual components so, or we need to reduce this composite figure into the number of individual components so here we can see that this figure is mainly composed of rectangle as well as triangles so what we can do is just we can just make individual figures okay so what will we do is we will just draw a line here okay and we will also produce a line here so we can just make a rectangle one here okay likewise this rectangle will be two and this what this is triangle this triangle will be three sections so we have reduced the components in now friends we can write the dimensions of individual component figures that is this rectangle this first is our rectangle of base b equals to 1.5 having height equals to 9 meters likewise second is this again rectangle this is having the base of 6 meter and height of 1 meters thirdly we have a triangle triangle having base so this is the base and how we can calculate the basis this is total 6 and this is 2 and this is 1.5 so we we will just do 2 plus 1.5 okay plus x equals to 6 and this base will be coming out to be 2.5 and this height will be 6 meters isn't it so we have just reduced the given composite figure into the number of rectangular components or triangular components okay we have just uh, drawn out the different uh, composite uh, figure into the uh, smaller number of units isn't it so here the rectangle is also positive this one two section that is again rectangle is again positive and this triangle is again positive since if we add all three the one two and three then then the composite figure will be formed so all the things are positive here now friends what we will do is is to calculate the center of the composite figure okay friends now friends our job is to find the centroid of this composite figure so we need to find the centroid of this composite figure okay so we have assumed this direction as x direction and this direction y directions so for finding centroid we need to draw a table showing the serial number ai is the area of <coughs> individual components xi is the centroid of individual components of the figure and yi is the centroid in y direction so xi is the centroid in x directions and y is the centroid of the keyboard figure in y direction and a i x i is the product of a i and x i and a i y i is the product of individual areas times the centroid in y directions okay so first we will look into section one so this is section one and we will be looking in this section one so the area of this rectangle will be obviously b into s where b is 1.5 and your height is 9 meters isn't it so this is 10 meter total is 10 meters and this is 1 meters if you subtract 10 minus 1 this will be height will be 9 meters isn't it so area will be 13.5 square meters likewise friends the centroid of this rectangle isn't it the centroid of this rectangle from this origin point o will be how much so this will be always b by 2 isn't it so 1.5 by 2 will be 
the centroid of this rectangle so that comes out to be 0.75 likewise the centroid in y direction from this origin o is calculated as <coughs> so we have this is the origin and the, we need to find the centroid in this direction from the origin so this is 1 plus this is 9 by 2 isn't it so for a rectangular section the centroid always lie in the half portion isn't it so 1 plus 9 by 2 will be the centroid from this origin o so total is 5.5 okay so if we solve this ai xi will come out to be 10.125 ai yi come out to be 74.25 likewise friends for the rectangular portion second rectangular portion isn't it of dimension base base equals to 6 meters and height equals to 1 meters what we can write is area is 6 into 1 6 square meters and x bar for a rectangular section x bar is always lies at the half position isn't it so b by 2 that is 3 uh, 6 by 2 is 3 likewise for y bar this lies at the half portion isn't it so s by 2 s by 2 is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 and if we solve this ai xi bar come out to be 18 and if we just multiply this ai with the yi 6 into 0 0.5 then it will be coming out to be 3 also friends we need to calculate for the triangle portions now look at the triangle portion so this is the triangle portions and we need to calculate the <coughs> individual components of the triangle triangular components so the area of the triangular components is always so half into base into height so 1 by 2 base is 2.5 and height is 6 meters then it come out to be 7.5 likewise xi so xi is the distance of the centroid distance of the centroid of the triangle from this considered origin points o isn't it so this is the considered point and we need to locate its centroid from this point origin point okay from this direction you know okay now so look at this so this is the considered point and this dimension is 1.5 so this is the triangular section and for the triangular section of this case the centroid will be b by 3 isn't it so if we are moving from this perpendicular section or this perpendicular section it is always one third or if you are moving from this triangular edge then or this apex portion then it will be only 2 by 3 so in this case it will be one third isn't it so one third of two uh, one third of 2.5 will be the centroid okay so 1.5 this is this distance plus one third of 2.5 so it will come out to be 2.33 likewise we can calculate y bar of this triangular portion so y bar is calculated from again from this origin or considered uh, point so this is 1 plus this is s by 3 so 1 plus s by 3 come out to be 3 meters so if you solve this this will be coming out to be 17.475 and ai yi come out to be 22.5 okay so the total area total summation of the area of the individual component figures come out to be 27 square meters likewise the product ai and the, uh, likewise the product ai xi the summation of the product ai xi that come out to be 45.60 cubic meters isn't it this is cubic meters likewise ai yi bar will be 99.75 meters so we have calculated the summations of all the required now friends our job is to find the centroid x bar and y bar so friends for the calculation of centroid x bar we will just simply apply the formula summation of ai xi bar divided by summation of ai okay so we have calculated all these values in the initial table and we will just substitute the values that we obtain at the end so as to get centroid okay so in this case centroid x bar will be coming out to be 1.688 meters likewise we will just calculate the centroid in y direction that is y bar y bar will be summation of ai times the yi bar yi bar is the individual centroid of the individual figures okay yi bar so divided by summation of ai then yi bar sorry y bar will be coming out to be 3.694 meters okay so we have just located the centroid in the composite figure now our job is to find the moment of inertia of the given composite figure about 
centroidal axis okay now friends our job is to find out the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis so firstly we will determine the moment of inertia about centroidal x axis okay we will find the moment of inertia about centroidal x axis okay so we have just located the centroid in this composite figure okay so this uh, come out to be in x direction there is how much there is the value of 1.688 in x direction and in y direction there is 3.694 meters so we have just drawn the x x and y axis so we need to determine the moment of inertia about these two axes now we, the axis has been changed now we will just determine the moment of inertia about these axes so we will just use the formula we will just use the formula of the calculation of moment of inertia okay so we will just use the formula so the formula is moment of inertia of the individual figures about centroidal axis plus a h square okay so a h square this is the parallel axis theorem so we will just use this formula for the calculation of moment of inertia about centroidal x axis so i x x will be b h cube by 12 so for the rectangle there is the moment of inertia of centroidal axis for the rectangle is b h cube by 12 okay and for the triangle the moment of inertia about centroidal axis is b h cube by 36 we have to remember that so this is the formula so for the this is the so formula for rectangular part so this is the first rectangular part section one okay so this is the formula for section two and this is the formula for section three okay so where b1 h1 cube by 12 plus a1 times y bar minus y1 to the power whole square likewise this is the first section two and this is for section three and for easy computation if we just look at the table then it will be easier for us to apply all the notations so b1 so just look at the table b1 is 1.5 and s1 is 9 meters isn't it likewise in the second section b1 is 6 meters and h1 is 1 meters in the triangular section b, b, uh, b3 is uh, 2.5 and s3 is 6 meters in the rectangular section of two section that is b2 is six meters and s2 is one meter so we will apply all these things and as we did have already determined this y bar have been already determined and if we substitute all these values we will easily get the value of moment of inertia or centroidal x axis come out to be 215.479 square meter sorry meter to the power four so ix x will be 215. 479 meter to the power 4 m4 will be the unit likewise friends we need to calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis that is i y y y y axis we need to calculate the moment of inertia about centroidal y axis okay so for this again we have to use the similar formula that is i y y equals to moment of, in, in, uh, moment of inertia of the individual figures about centroidal axis or centroidal y axis plus a h square so we have to use the moment of inertia of the individual figures about centroidal y axis plus a h square so using the parallel axis theorem we can easily find out the value of moment of inertia about, about centroidal y y axis so so this will be the formula we can easily write this formula here i y y equals to h1 b1 to the power 3 by 12 plus a1 so x bar minus x1 whole square plus s2 b2 whole cube by 12 plus a2 x, uh, x bar minus x2 to the power 2 plus s3 b3 cube divided by 36 plus a3 times x bar minus x3 whole square so we will just use this formula so this is the extension of this this formula came out from this parallel axis theorem we know that the moment of inertia of the individual figures of rectangle so of rectangle about their centroidal axis is b h cube by 12 and for the triangle about their centroidal axis is b h cube by 36 so we have just applied this formula and we have just used this formula so as to get i y y so i y y in this case come out to be 48.432 
meter to the power 4 m4 will be the value so friend this is the way we can solve out the problem associated with moment of inertia calculation about centroidal axis